Welcome to the Grand Canyon! We are James and Kelly and we are currently on an eight-day camper van trip. We are renting a camper van and hiking at three different major national parks. The Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, and Zion National Park. The Grand Canyon is the first lake of our journey here and we are going to take you along with us as we hike through the North Rim. Now it's time for us to get dressed for our first hike of this trip. <laughs> Close. Close. Let's go. The first hike of the day is a very easy one to Bright Angel Point so we can look out over the Grand Canyon. The North Rim has an elevation of between 8,000 and 9,000 feet, which is higher than the South Rim by 1,500 feet. The Bright Angel's path is very easy to walk. It's a paved path that takes you out to the lookout point. But on every side of us, we can see the canyon and how deep it is. The trees on the top and the red rock. It's so gorgeous. While we're hiking along Angel's Peak, there's like a bunch of little paths that go off onto like these rocky sections. Um, both sides of the path are basically drop-offs. So when you go off the path, it's a little bit scary, but there's some fun rocks to climb up. And all the way at the end, there's a bunch of people climbing up on rocks and taking some cool photos. It'd be awesome to get a drone out here, but I'm not getting fined today. This is so beautiful. It kind of like levels off at the top. Yeah, super flat at the top. Mm -hmm. All right, on to the next trail. We've just finished our hike at Bright Angel Point and it is a super easy hike, but it is a great view of the Grand Canyon. It's the perfect place to go if you first arrive at the North Rim and trying to see just the Grand Canyon because this was our first look because we got here like late last night. Yeah, it was a beautiful <laughs> look. I mean like this is great views. It's and it's easy. So like if this is if you have just a small amount of time you can just come to this spot, do the hike, 30 minutes, and you've seen the Grand Canyon. Now we are gonna head back to our camper van, make a quick lunch, and figure out what the next hike we are going to do. The visitor center had a lot of great tips with things to do around the North Rim. This little spot, just walking up to it, is also fantastic. You get like the sight of the canyon through the trees, this lodge. I wouldn't mind staying in this lodge. You wake up with this view. Yeah, so if we didn't have our camper van, we could have easily just stayed at one of the lodges, lodges if we planned ahead of time because these are all booked out. <laughs> yeah, we booked really late. But man, that's good. We got a map from one of the rangers and so we've looked on it to find a trail to go onto and we found this Wid Fours with two S's at the end trail that we also saw online. We have to drive a little bit away from the visitor center. It's back on this road uh, and then we have to take a dirt road to the trailhead. But we're gonna go there, we're gonna have some lunch, and then we're gonna head out on our next trail. Wid Force Trail. <laughs> We're gonna make some basic sandwiches in a duck. That's thunder. There's a small rain cloud right above us, so it might rain while we're eating. And then hopefully it's done. Okay. Hello. 
little bit like bologna, but better. So better. That's not very good. You need to move inside. Not yet. I just got right down. Just as we finished eating, the rain started to pick up just a bit. I think we're still going to attempt to go out onto the hike because it's an out and back trail. It says only about an hour to two hours. And for all we know, the rain can stop as we're hiking. So we're just gonna still do it. Get our get our feet moving, get some exercise in. It's raining. Yeah. Let's hike. Good frogs. Oh, that's kind of sad. No pets. There's no more animals shitting on the trail, do you? <laughs> you know, we're on this hike and it's raining. And I think that most people would probably not go hiking if it just started raining. But we came prepared. We have our nice Columbia rain jackets on. We got some good hiking pants on that are water resistant. Good wa good hiking boots. But the only bad part is, is our backpacks are water resistant. <laughs> yeah, our backpacks aren't super water resistant, but they do all right in the rain. So I think it's important that if you are planning on going hiking, you need to bring everything for the weather so it doesn't ruin your plans. The rain's making it all dark. Dark and cloudy. But you can kind of see the edge of the rain cloud though. Hopefully it stops by the time we get to the lookout point. Like the rain has let up a little bit but we can still hear the thunder from a distance not really sure where the thunder storm is coming from exactly but hopefully it passes here soon yeah can't really tell still sprinkling just a little bit mm -hmm. it's a beautiful walk regardless though just walked up and there's a break in the trees and we can see the canyon and it's blue like clear skies right on the end but it's dark in the middle it's so cool looking it's good to raise my hands up to the thunder yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> According to all trails, it says we still have about three and a half hours left of this hike. And I'm not sure if that means in total, like there and back or just there. So we really need to start picking up the pace. Hopefully this rain ends the next minute or so because it's blue right above us. And then it will help us go a little bit faster. Okay, we went on pretty good pace. I looked out and the mountains started going in and out. <laughs> uh, it's best that we take a little pit stop. Woo. I think it's the altitude. Yeah. The view though. So I forgot to plug the microphone back in, but basically I am saying how the rain finally stopped and we were about a mile and a half to the lookout point. We were the only two people that were on the trail heading to the lookout point, and it was super peaceful as we walked. That's pretty neat. 
That's pretty neat. More jig. Mm -mm. More energy. More passion. More energy. More passion. More energy. More passion. More energy. More passion. <laughs> We are over halfway to get to the lookout point and we can hear another storm brewing in the background. It's all right there. You can see the dark clouds right through the trees. Oh, no. And so far, every person that we've passed has actually been going away from the lookout point. And we haven't had anyone pass us or we haven't seen anyone going towards it. So we might get pretty lucky, actually. This view. Beautiful. Wind Forest Trail is a five mile hike out to the point and then of course a five mile hike back to the trailhead. It should take uh, with good pace about four hours to go down and back. Um, I think we're about two hours in already and we have not made it to the point. According to our all trails we are we've been hiking for an hour and 40 minutes. 2.84 miles and in total we have two hours and 58 minutes remaining. <laughs> we gotta get to going. Wood Force Trail is a trail at the top of the North Rim Canyon. So on one side we have a beautiful view of the canyon and on the other side we have a beautiful forest. has definitely picked up quite a bit from what we can hear and we can't tell if the noise is just the wind or if it's also the rain. It sounds like it's pouring. Yeah, so we're almost to the peak. We're just getting to the to the viewpoint and it is amazing. Oh, it is the complete like northern part of the Grand Canyon. It's huge. After hiking five miles along the North Rim, we have made it to the lookout point. It is gorgeous here. We can see for miles upon miles. Split four. We can Workout see, paused. We can see for miles out into the canyon. We can see the other side of the canyon, which is really cool. It's really bright. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it will take to walk from here to the other side? A day. A day to cross the Grand Like, do you mean like the whole, all, whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> Several days. So like you'd go from here and then you see that spot that kind of like jags up. Mm -hmm. That's probably where you'd go up. This is so beautiful. But now it's time for us to hike back. It is four o'clock and we are trying to make it before it gets dark. Let's go. We have finished our hike. The van is right there. And we're gonna go back to the campsite and shower and hopefully catch the sunset. So let's get a move on. Yes. Our van is the only one left in the parking lot. We definitely had the trail all to ourselves this afternoon. I don't think that's normal at all. I'm sure there's probably a lot more people, but I'm not gonna complain. It was nice having it all to ourselves. Don't leave me! Baby! Okay, let's go. 
We have gotten back to our campsite after showering and the showers did not have any hot water. It was freezing. It had a sign on the wall saying, uh, at best, it will be warm, if at all. And I looked at that and said, oh, this is gonna be a terrible shower. And it was completely cold for me. Um, but we finally got into our campsite and it's nighttime already. So we got our headlights. We're gonna make our dinner, which is tacos tonight. Well, James is on dinner duty and I'm on cleaning out the van again. <laughs> As I was looking around, I found a switch and I was like, what does this switch do? We have lights inside. This is gonna make everything so much easier now. Because we found out now and not, you know, a week into our trip. I know. Sometimes you just gotta press buttons. Thank you so much for watching our video. We had one more day in the Grand Canyon where we went on a scenic drive, but unfortunately I deleted all of our videos from that, but we still have a lot of days left on our Grand Canyon trip. So make sure to subscribe to our channel to see our next video from Bryce Canyon.